Hey kids, it's Miss Mary. I hope you're having a good week. Tonight we're going to be talking about how God takes care of birds and how important that he thinks birds are. But he also, in what we're talking about tonight, talks about how much more important people are than birds. So let's listen to our story and see how God compares birds to people. Tonight our lesson is going to come from a book that I'm going to read a story. Uh, the book is called The Lost Sheep and Other Stories Jesus Told. And it was written by Phil A. Smouse. Look up. This is from Matthew 6, 25 and verse 26. Jesus said, Do not worry about the things you need. You will always have good food to eat. You will always have warm clothes to wear. Look up. Do you see the birds? They do not work. They cannot buy or sell or trade. And they have no place to put anything, even if they could. But God feeds them. He cares for them just the same. So why do you worry? God loves you more than anything else in the world. Okay, I'm going to read our scripture that our story came from. It's found in the New Testament in Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 and 26. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than them? Okay, kids, that's our story. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something from it. Um, God tells us that um, he loves the birds. He really does, and he takes care of them. He gives them everything they need. But he also tells us that we are more important than the birds. And so he loves us even more than he loves his birds that he made. And that we should not worry either, because if he'll take care of the birds, he will take care of us. So that's our lesson for tonight. And I hope to see you in class soon. So have a good rest of the week. And I will see you later. I miss you. And I love you. Bye-bye.